Now, what's going on with you today? Hope you're doing good. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to have a little conversation about that recent picture that NBA Youngboy posted on his social media. So if you guys don't know what's going on, yesterday, the boy NBA Youngboy, he posted a picture on his Instagram that went viral. Now, the picture in question was a photo of Youngboy himself lying down on a floor alongside a bunch of pills in a styrofoam cup, most likely with lean inside of it. And then his eyes were looking all hollow. And then the caption to this photo was, that's why I don't pick up the phone when it ring. Now, that's some lyrics from the late Lil Peep's record, Star Shopping. So I'm sure you can kind of see why a lot of people saw this and were a little bit worried for Youngboy. Now, me, initially, I was worried, but then I took a good look at this photo and uh, this right here, guys, is nothing but an orchestrated photo and scenario. That's what it is, unfortunately. I mean, just take a look at this photo yourself. This doesn't look like one of those, you know, I was caught off guard being messed up moments. Absolutely not. This is a bro. I want you to snap a pic of me while these pills are scattered all over the floor. And then I got to lean right by my side. Now the question is, what would be the incentive for young boy to do something like that? Well, to me, it's kind of obvious, but if it's not to you, let me clarify by saying that it's because he's trying to sell an image here. This is what young boy talks about in his music. He talks about this lifestyle where he's popping copious amounts of pills. He's sipping a whole lot of lean. He's doing drive-bys while he's off a pill or two and some lean. Like that's what young boy talks about, right? And you know what's so sad about this? It's the fact that this is such a strategic photo right here. Like it'd be one thing if something served where someone might have recorded young boy kind of being strung out kind of like kodak black like y'all know what he went through some time back right one of his homies recorded kodak while he was on the floor presumably off drugs i mean kodak had to be on some right and i seen that and i felt a lot of compassion for kodak because he's never really put himself out there like that so for him to have one of these low moments while he's most likely on something publicized for the whole world to see and judge him i felt bad right but then we have a situation like this where a young boy is posting this photo which is completely orchestrated why is he doing it well he's obviously selling an image this is very very good for publicity as well because it creates a conversation and it goes right along with his image and the kind of things he's talking about in the music so it further validates what he's actually saying in his lyrical content and i don't doubt that young boy might be on some kind of drugs because you know i believe it was on an interview he did with bootleg kev he was saying how he was trying to quit doing drugs which that's a very good thing and it's one thing if you're kind of going through these demons privately right and you're trying to do the work in silence but for you to post something like this where you're clearly trying to capitalize off this when you have so many young people who follow you it's completely irresponsible because what does this accomplish i mean number one publicity number two i don't think it accomplishes anything else apart from publicity as far as good things right and of course money because publicity equals money and that's something that only young boy benefits from and then the negatives well that list is very long but number one you're putting what you're talking about in your music in front of your audience to validate this destructive lifestyle that you're living which if you want to live like this you know that's fine do you at the very least have some discernment and just realize that you have a lot of young people who follow you bro and a lot of them already have this lifestyle ingrained into their mind because they love young boy so much and now they're seeing a real life depiction of what it looks like and that doesn't lead to anything good you know there's a time in hip-hop when being an addict was actually frowned upon and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that we should shame anyone who's addicted absolutely not okay do not get it twisted but i do think there should be some level of pushback when it comes to glorifying being addicted because that's what young boy is doing he's glorifying this now in this new era however being an addict is kind of cool being as fucked up off these pills as you possibly can that's actually something that's seen as noble i mean there's a reason why the glorification of all this stuff in hip-hop is so prominent if it's not seen as cool then how come there are people who glorify this lifestyle and they make millions from it it's because people not only feed off of but they're very drawn to a lot of this negativity because this kind of music actually sends out frequencies to our mind and we got an entire generation of kids who are growing up on this music so they're getting subconsciously hooked on a lot of this negativity and it's festering in their minds and since there are you know artists getting compensated with millions of dollars for promoting all this stuff what do you think that's going to do well other people are going to come out of the woodwork and promote the same thing in order to make a little bit of pesos and there's a difference between telling your story and outright glorifying something because i don't think there's anything wrong with discussing what you're going through as an artist that's what you are supposed to do right juice world low peep this is what they did and they did it in a way where it's like you know you're hearing them talk about this life that they're living you understand after listening to their music that they're really in it and they're discussing this not to say be like me they're saying 
don't be like me. For Juice World, there were like so many occasions where he was even saying like, hey, I don't want none of my fans to live the kind of life that I'm living. I'm just sharing my story because this is how I live and, and it's a reflection of my day-to-day -day life. But in no way do I want the people who follow me to be as hooked on this as I am. If you read in between the lines, that's what Juice World was saying. And I think someone like Juice, as sad as it sounds, he kind of served as an example of the direction that you shouldn't go in. Like on his song Empty, which is just so sad. One of my favorite Juice World songs, but it's just so depressing. He says, these drugs acting like mosh pits squishing me. Oh my, oh me, how they kill me slowly, lonely. I've been getting no peace, OD feel like overdosing. Low key, I've been looking for the signs, but all I can find is a sign at a times. So that's very hard hitting because you know exactly what Juice is talking about. You understand that he's stuck in his place of addiction and he's having a very hard time getting out of it. And all he can do is kind of channel a lot of this stuff that he's feeling into the song as a way to not only vent and tell a story, but as a way to serve as an example of the path that you shouldn't go down. And Juice Wall wasn't perfect, by the way. I mean, he had certain moments where you heard him say things as it related to his addiction and borderline, it did sound like he was promoting addiction. But then again, if you kind of zoom out and then you look at all of his music as a whole from a bird's eye view, it's really hard to say that Juice was promoting addiction. He was actually fighting against addiction with his music. And then you hear a guy like Youngboy who on top of posting this very irresponsible photo, he's talking about doing all these drugs and like carrying out drive-bys. So there's a very different energy and intention with the music and it's really sad to see because how many millions of young people does an NBA Youngboy influence I mean NBA Youngboy has a huge audience he has over 11 million followers on Instagram and then this photo right here has over 1.1 million likes and over 70,000 comments it's just so sad how someone with this much influence chooses to use it and just looking at his recent photos by the way you can kind of tell that this is a part of some kind of marketing scheme like right after posting this photo he dropped a new record and then right after takashi 69 teased a collab that i guess he has on a way with young boy so this is a part of some kind of promo run he's doing right now so now we're using our addiction to promote our music that's what we're doing one of the other issues with this by the way is that if we ever find out that young boys actually going through something a lot of people are not going to take it very seriously because they're going to remember this moment right here i guess in the end it doesn't matter like as long as the attention keeps on flowing in that should be the focus here right obviously nah but i don't really think young boy cares anyway there you have the video any thoughts on this story related to NBA Youngboy. You guys have seen the pic. Do you agree with me when I say that this photo right here seems very orchestrated? Or maybe do you disagree with me and think that the photo in question was not carefully and delicately orchestrated? Curious to hear what you have to say. See you in the comment section below, but most importantly of all, I'll catch you on the next video. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're at. And yeah, peace. I'm out. <laughs>